and welcome to another episode of Exact Tax brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison and today I want to talk about factoring. We got a request for this video recently. Occasionally, you may need to increase or decrease uh, prices of Xactimate line items by a percentage, uh, whether it's a certain category of line items or all of the line items, and you can do that via global changes. So how exactly do, that, do we do that? I have here an Xactimate 20 8 estimate. I've dropped in a few rooms to simulate uh, an estimate and line items. Some line items are similar from room to room, some are different. You'll notice that this dry LF here is an ampersand, whereas everything else is the uh, plus for replace. So I'm going to highlight and select all three of these rooms and it's going to show me all the line items. I have my dry LF plus and my dry LF uh, ampersand. The reason I've included an ampersand here is because I want to show you uh, how the factoring works. It's done by activity. So I have here, normally I have a, a zeroed out price list. We don't touch pricing at Action One Insights, but I've included the November 18 uh, San Diego price list to give you an idea of how this affects the pricing. So we have here 181 for remove, and we have here 982 for replace. So I'm going to, I can right click any line item and do global changes from here. Uh, for You'll notice that if I only select one line item, it's only going to give me that line items category as the option here. So regardless if I select drywall or I hit all, it's only going to affect the drywall line items. Now I want to select all, so I'm going to click, hold shift, and select all my line items. Now I'm going to right click and go back to global changes. And now I have, we have a drop down menu here. It's already unfactoring for me as I prepared for this video. There's many things you can do in global changes. We already have a video on depreciation. This one's on factoring, so we'll leave it there. Now when I go to categories and I hit select, I can specifically select a certain category that I want to affect change to. But in this case, I actually want to keep it on all so that I can show you what happens here. Now it's broken down into activity codes. Plus, minus, R, F, uh, material, install only. You'll notice that there's no ampersand, as ampersand is really denoting two activities within one line item, both remove and replace. So. In this example, uh, for global changes and factoring, we're just going to uh, increase the replace prices of all line items by 20%. So I'm going to come over here to my factor by, I'm going to make it 20%, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, remember that our remove price on the dry LF was 181, and our current price is 982 for a place, right here. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to say running, item 6 of 6. All I have to do is hit OK and it affects all the changes. Now if I go to this line item, you'll see that the remove price for the drywall has not changed at all, but the uh, replace price has, and it's added the 20% in the market conditions here. And you can see it here, market conditions, 186, same, and nothing's changed for that uh, remove because we didn't affect the remove. So you have a lot of different options when you're factoring line items. You can do it by category, activity code, uh, and obviously, if you're making changes via factoring, Actionable Insights always recommends adding an F9 note, uh, explaining why you're factoring a category, line items, uh, anything along those lines. So, this has been another exact tag showing you how to factor line items up or down, percentage-wise, via activity codes uh, through the Global Changes tool. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.